Now, prior to this, Moses had an exposure. Moses had an exposure to the palace. The first exposure Moses had in his life was to the palace. And this exposure brought pride. Anytime we only get exposed to the palace, to the palace meaning to the good things, great things, powerful things, opportunities. If the only thing we get exposed in life is to the palace, it breeds pride. And pride is something that is very dangerous because it eventually destroys us. The court of Pharaoh, they were infected with this leprosy and this disease called pride. They're only exposed to their court and they're only exposed to their realm which everything is good and they never allow themselves to be exposed to the pain of people in their own nation. They're only exposed to the pleasure of the court and they are infected with pride. When God came and told them to release the slaves, they made a fuss about it. They made a big deal about it and everything about them was prideful. When you are only exposed to the pleasures and the good things in life, something will creep in if you don't protect your heart closely, is pride will creep in. And what pride will do is will do same thing to you what it did to the palace. It will bankrupt it, corrupt it and bring the plague of God. Moses was exposed to the palace. For the next 40 years, Moses gets exposed to the pain because the Bible says we know that Moses decides to go and get an exposed to something else he wants to expose himself to the suffering of God's people I don't know how it happened different movies portray it differently we don't know exactly how it happened but we know something that happened to Moses living for 40 years in the palace seeing the beauty the majesty seeing all of these things he said i want to broaden my horizon i want to enlarge i want to be objective i don't want to just know the good and the pleasure i also want to know how people live outside of these walls and he came and he exposed himself to the suffering and the pain of people who were living in the same zip code and when that happened it messed him up because in the palace, when you're exposed to the palace, it breeds pride. When you're exposed to the pain, it creates perspective. And after you have a perspective, you can never look at the palace and the pleasure and the promotion and the money exactly the same way. And many people, they protect their heart from the pain of people and from the suffering of people because they're afraid it might damage their perspective and they'll find themselves like Moses not wanting to be a prince and not being good at being deliverer and finding themselves in the desert confused why because now I cannot enjoy the palace and I'm not sure what I should do about the pain you're a mess why because you are exposed to the pain that's why the Pharisees and the Levites when they saw men in pain they wanted to avoid that because it's a human tendency to avoid being exposed to suffering because you know it will mess with your perspective I want my heart to be able to be touched with the infirmities and iniquities of people. Jesus was exposed to the needs of people. The Bible says he saw and he was moved with compassion. Jesus wasn't like a Pharisee and a Levite passing by. Jesus wasn't like Pharaoh who simply put everything on mute where they showed sufferings of people. Jesus was just like Moses. He went to his brethren and he let his heart be wrecked and be, he be touched and his perspective be renewed because of the pain he was exposed to. The first exposure is the exposure to the palace. Sometimes it breeds pride. The second exposure is the exposure to the pain. It produces perspective. But the third exposure, and this is the exposure that Moses has received on this mountain, is when you get exposed to the presence of God. Moses gets exposed to who God is and something begins to happen right away to Moses is his life changes. He becomes a different man. He goes into Egypt. He changes a nation. A man that Jewish people remember today is not the man who was exposed to pain or exposed to the palace. A history and they're making just another movie in Hollywood right now about Moses and the reason why they're making it is not because Moses was exposed to pain. It's because 40 years later a man named Moses was exposed to another realm that is bigger than pain and bigger than the palace. It's called the presence of God. What really shifted everything in his life is not exposure to human suffering and human depravity and it's just the corruption of a human character and the pain and the difficulty and evil. What really changed everything in this story is a man got exposed to who God was. When you come to the sun, 
without lotion and without any cloth it will do its work but the moment you put lotion on or the moment you put something on it could block the rays of the sun and you will still remain like white like snow even though you laid under the sun no wonder God tells Moses remove your shoes God was telling Moses he says I want you to remove the lotion I want you to walk into my presence and I do not want you to have anything that will protect you from my rays see God gives us his armor to protect us from demonic attacks but Satan gives us his veils to protect us from God's touch